welcome to my channel Lisa TV USA today is a beautiful day it's Sunday here in the US and we get up from the church um, with the whole family so today my husband and I were decided to make something very special it is a type of a Filipino dessert so he is very very good on making this type of dessert so he learned it from one of his buddy um, a best friend in Washington a Filipino family so this is a special type of bibinka so it's called bibinka um, it is very um, special for me because um, it has a unique ingredients and the unique procedure on how to make this so this Filipino family is from Ilocos and they have um, very good procedure on how to make this so in this video my husband is going to show you all the ingredients we're gonna need and the right procedures on making the special bibinka so guys don't forget to subscribe hi everyone welcome to my wife's channel my my cooking and adventure I'm not gonna try the last part because I don't know how to pronounce it so these are the ingredients we have for making babinka. Uh, first thing is rice flour. This is coconut milk. You can use coconut cream, coconut milk. There's really, I've tried both. There's really no difference to me in texture or taste. Uh, this is regular milk, uh, white sugar, uh, stick of melted butter, three eggs, cream cheese, uh, vanilla, um, this baking is powder. baking powder, and then this is not normal to put in babinka, but I think it adds like more of a tropical taste to it. So this is crushed pineapple. So the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna put the cream cheese and two cups of sugar. And we just mix this together. And just start out slow. And you're just going to cream this together until it's nice and smooth. You're going to add all of your fat-based ingredients first, so your cream, sugar, milk, all that goes together first. So after that's pretty well mixed, we're going to mix in, this is the milk. The fresh milk. That's a cup of milk. So I guess I'll go over the uh, quantities. So that was a, a stick of cream cheese and two cups of white sugar. And that was a cup of milk. And we're going to mix this together. And cream cheese until you get this blended. It's going to stick to the pan, so I just keep scraping it off. Dump in our eggs. Get that all mixed up. Add our butter. This is a stick of butter. Blend this so it's nice and smooth. So we got that pretty smooth. Now we're at our coconut milk, coconut cream, whatever you prefer. Just a spatula. So 
So now we're just add a tablespoon of vanilla. Important part. It's time consuming, but to get the texture right, this is what you have to do. This is your rice powder. This is 500. 500 grams. 500 grams of rice powder. Or half a kilo. And you add it a spoonful at a time. And you let it mix. And you add it. Oh, you don't need to put it. You don't dump this all in at once. Okay. And you see this start to thicken up as it mixes. Turn the speed up a little bit here as it gets thicker. Hi Vincent. Hi. Vincent is watching Daddy making um, bibinka. Speed up. I'm going to scrape all the sides off here. Make sure that nothing stuck to the bottom. baking soda. You can add that before or after the rice flour. It doesn't really matter. And scrape that down in. And that, should, that should be your consistency. It should be smooth like that and then this is the pineapple crust it's about a, a cup yeah you don't take the juice out of it you just dump the whole thing in there and this you don't you just stir this in you don't really want to mix this too much so you just get it mixed in the batter good and that's it that's the mixing procedure in all the ingredients And you're gonna grease your pan here. This is just Crisco. I don't like getting on my fingers, so I just use a paper towel. Napkin. That's it. Okay. And dump your batter in here. Okay, after you get this in your pan, you're going to top this and you're just going to use some white sugar and you just spread it along here, fairly generously. This is just makes it look pretty. A little bit of brown sugar, and you just sprinkle it around. That's 
about it. You can put as much or little as you want, but that's about how much we usually do. And so this cooks at 350 degrees for an hour, so we got our oven preheated at 350, and in it goes. And we'll see you in an hour. Timer. Okay, everyone. Uh, it's been about an hour, so the babinka should be done. And let's have a look here. Oh, it's very nice. Let it cool and I'm ready to eat. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.